Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. God is good and all the times. In this mass, we are presenting ourselves before our good Lord with our own intentions and intentions for our brothers and sisters who call for our prayers, asking our good Lord to be with us, to understand us, and also to protect us against coronavirus. But before that, as the children of God, as the people set apart, for us to restore our friendship, our relationship with God and one another, we have to acknowledge our own sins and ask our good Lord to have mercy on us so that we may be worthy to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you are our creator and life giver. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our brother and our redeemer, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our hope and our joy, Lord of mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by the Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed into the image of our heavenly Maker through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when Peter and John were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea, and everything in them, who by the mouth of our father, David, your servant, said by the Holy Spirit, why did the Gentiles rage, and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves in array, and the rulers were gathered together, against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city they were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Portius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined 
to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant your servants to speak your word with all boldness. While you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is Alleluia. Alleluia. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? They arise the king of the earth. Princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Let us burst asunder their filters. Let us cast off from us their chains. Alleluia. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord derides and mocks them. Then he will speak in, their, in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have anointed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Alleluia. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask of me, and I will give you. The nations are as your inheritance, and the ends of the earth as your possession. With a rod of iron, you will rule them. Like a potter's jar, you will shatter them. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia! Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these, thing, these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. 
Do not marvel that I said to him, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Unless one is born of water and the Holy Spirit cannot enter the kingdom of God. God is good and all the times. My dear brothers and sisters, like Jesus, John, and Peter, we are also being called to celebrate our freedom, our freedom through the cross, the cross which has redeemed us, the cross which has made us new, the cross which has made us a truly, a truly children of God. And this is the history which we are celebrating this is the history which we are enjoying today. But in our society today, in the whole world today, we are seeing people are not free. People are not free, for instance, to narrow it down here in Kenya. We have heard that at seven, everybody should be at home. There is curfew. This is making some men not to be free because they were used to going home at midnight. They are finding themselves to be at home at seven, and this is making them not to be free. Not only men, but even children. We are also seeing the children are also not free because they are not allowed to go and play outside with other fellow children. They are not allowed to go to school, to go and gather and learn. This is making them not to be free. They are being in prison. But not only children, but ladies also we are seeing most ladies are not also not free because they find themselves being conditioned in some things which are not true. Today, if you see most of the ladies instead of applying their lipsticks, but they are putting a mask. This is making them not to be free because they are not comfortable with this. But us as a children of God, us as a people set apart, we are seeing there is one thing which makes us to be free. That if we allow the Holy Spirit to come within us, it will transform us. It will make us new. And this is what the gospel reading today we are seeing. Nicodemus is asking Jesus, how can this happen? How can one be born again? But Jesus is in answer telling him, but if one born through the water and the Holy Spirit, he become new. As also, what is this to us? The first thing which Nicodemus did, he had a private, a private conversation with Jesus Christ. Some commentaries saying that he did so because he was a famous man. He was fearing what will people say. This man is now with Jesus. He has left us. He was conscious about this. And also some commentaries say that he was doing this because he wanted to have a private conversation with Jesus Christ. He didn't want interference. This is also telling us that for us also to have this inner conversion, the inner trans transformation, we need to have a private conversation. And this is through prayer. And prayer, prayer is not only that you are saying people are praying for you, but a prayer has a three dimension. The first dimension is that prayer is individual. You must get your own time to pray. Prayer will transform you. Prayer will change you. Prayer will make you to be in contact with Jesus Christ. And this will make you to be his follower. The second way which we can pray, we pray as a a prayer as a, a social. Prayer bring us together. Prayer make us to be united. And also prayer is as a communion. This is why we are praying together. We are praying for the whole world. We are having intention to pray for. And this is making us to be transformed, to be followers of Christ, to walk with him, and also to see him all the time. But what are we learning from these readings in this time of Easter? which we need to practice, which we need to walk in. The first thing which we are seeing is that all the time as a children of God, 
We need to allow the Holy Spirit to work within us because Holy Spirit will direct us. Holy Spirit will transform us and Holy Spirit will show us which is the right way we are supposed to do. That's the first thing. The second thing which we are also seeing, which the psalmist is reminding us that we as a children of God, we as a people of God, all the time, we are only blessed when we trust in God. I know today, the whole world, sometimes we must be fearful. But we need not to fear. We need to trust in God because he's our refuge. He will always protect us. He will always guide us. And he will always show us the right way, the right things which we are supposed to do. So our good Lord is always big. Our good Lord is always with us. And our good Lord is always ready to protect us from everyone. We pray for this grace and ask our good Lord to send for us the Holy Spirit to transform us, to make us follow him all the time. We pray for this grace. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray for our own intentions and intention for the church. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such a great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruits in the perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restore our life and so overcome with the paschal joy every land every people exult in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dearful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread out throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Cardinal Jue, our Bishop, David Kamau, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, through eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our, look not on our, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us eternal life as we receive it. A receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not to bring me to judgment and compassion, but to your loving mercy before me, protection of mind and body and healing. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that this should enter my roof, but only to the Lord, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Itajongewa meza yako e bwana Itajongewa meza yako e bwana Bwana nipoke na kuja Ninakuja kwako e bwana nikakupoke E bwana kwani wewe ndiwe uzima Ninakuja kwako e bwana nikakupoke E bwana kwani wewe ndiwe uzima Chakula kena uzima e bwana Ushibesha wenye nja e bwana Bwana nipoke na kuja Ninakuja kwako e bwana nikakupoke E bwana kwani wewe ndiwe uzima Ninakuja kwako e bwana nikakupoke E bwana kwani wewe ndiwe uzima Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O oh Lord, and grant we pray that those you who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. We bow our heads to receive God's blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, 
was pleased to confound you with the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessings. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in the baptism through faith, by living in a right manner of this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah.